Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Coach Isaiah Graphics. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to create this type of flyer with just using your Pixel app. You can see it here to create this type of flyer. But if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. So without wasting time, let's just get started. So I'm going to be using a size for this my size. So I'm going to be using an A4 size. This is an A4 size here. So if you are confused about getting the oversize, this is my image size. You can copy my image size here. So I'm going to be importing all the image I'm using for this video right now. Let me quickly import all of them. So these are the resources I'm using for this video. So before that, I'm going to hide all this layer right now. I'm working on the first layer for this video. So this is the first layer I'm working on. I'm going to increase this, put the background color in white. So that you can see what I'm working on. Once your background color is in white, then what you need to do right now is to increase this thing. Once you're not increasing it, go to your centralized option, centralize it then. We are now going to start with the work. We are going to bring this our image front so that you see what we are working on right here. So I'm going to hide this. So before that, I'm going to bring back, bring the woman front at the front of this place. So this is the woman right now. I'm going to go to my crop, crop option. Crop is very well. Make sure you crop it very well once you are doing this video. So this is it. Just try to increase it or crop it so that it will fit the size you want your design to come out with. So this is it. You can also try to reduce any size you want it to be. But me, I'm going to be dropping it like this as my own size so and what i'm going to do right now i'm going to centralize it sorry i'm going to centralize it so once you are done we're going to go to our draw option right here this is our draw option click on this plus panel go to your draw option increase your pen size increase your smoothness and increase your bro radius so we are going to draw this and we are going to draw this right now this is not attentive we are going to draw this so once i don't draw this you're going to click on ok then we're going to go to our text color Enable your text color, put your text color in white. So, this is it. Once you're putting your text color in white, then you're going to increase it very well to the desired size you want it to be for this video. So, I'll be dropping it at this particular size. So, once I'm done, I'm still going to bring back this front image I'm working on to the front. So, you can see it right here, and I take this thing to the front also. So, without wasting time, let me just quickly work on the first part of this image. So this is my happy birthday font. I'm going to increase it right here. Once I'm done increasing it now, I'm going to go to my erase color. I'm going to go to my erase and I'm going to erase the top part of this design so that you see what I'm working on very well. So you can see it right here. So once I'm done, I'm going to click on both. Now I'm going to go to my text color right here. Okay, sorry. My relative, my color filter. And I'm going to start working on my color filter here. Increase the saturation. Try to reduce the brightness. And your contrast also so that you get the exact thing you need for this exact video so you can see it right here i'm done so i'm going to be merging these two together once i'm done merging these together so i'm going to put another text right now go to your text layer so i'm going to create faithful joy you get so let me quickly write it faithful i'm just going to be using this name to create a design so that you guys can see what i'm trying to work on here right here so i'm going to be using piece on board and i'm going to go to my color too so once i go to my color i'm going to put it on pure black so once i'm done i'm going to take it to this down part you get to that so once you are done writing your text we are going to be merging these two together that is faithful god and the new text so we are going to be merging them together so this sorry I'm not meant to merge this thing together. You can see I'm done merging it together, so I'm just going to look for a way to fit it very well, take it up a little bit. So I'm done working on this thing. So I'm going to be importing the lady right now. You get so I'm going to be importing the woman. This is the woman I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be taking the woman to the front. Once I take it to the front, then I'm going to bring her here and go to my crop option. Turn it like this. You can see it right now. Turn it like this. Then try to increase the size. Yeah, you can see just try to increase the size to any size you want it to be so once i don't just put it like this and now i'm going to be putting a wish down here a wish for her birthday so okay i'm going to be putting my color in black then double click on the text i copied the wish for her birthday so this is it and this special okay, you, just, you can just form any wish you want to use but me that is the wish i'm going to be using so i'm going to be changing my font to be some bold so this is the font i'm going to be using and i'm going to go to my centralized option centralize it also then we try to reduce it once you reduce it just reduce it very well then use these two you can use these two to draw it together yeah you can see it right now just try to reduce it to any size you want it to be so once you are done doing this now i'm going to be importing the first image that is this is the first image so i'm going to be taking it up so you take it up right now 
So you take it on. Once you take it off, I'm going to click on this. Go to your color filter right here. Try to okay, make sure you drag this your color filter to green. Then reduce the saturation so that it can be dark green. You can understand. So this is it. This is how we dark green. So I'm going to reduce it now. Now I'll take it to the back of this woman. You can see it now. Go to my opacity. I'm going to reduce my opacity to this level. So once I'm done, I'm still going to use another same thing again. And this is what I'm going to be doing. This last one right here. Just take it to the up. Take it to the upper. You can just click on this. Go to this place. Go to to front. Then click on crop. We can crop this circle out right now. So this is the circle I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be placing this circle up here. Once you're placing the circle up here, go to your color filter also. So you go to your color filter. Try to reduce it to green. So this is the green right here. So don't reduce it to green. Reduce the brightness like this with that green. You can also try to place it there. And also the butterfly we are going to be using. This is the butterfly we are using. Just try to drag the butterfly above. And once I don't drag it, click on it. Go to your erase color. Once I'm done doing this, I'm going to go to my crop option also. Go to here, crop this first butterfly out. You can see it here. So once I crop it, I will have to reduce it and place it here. Also go to my color filter to change it to green also. So I'm going to be changing it to green. So this is it. I'm done with this working on this. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to go to this first option. Here. This is the one I'm going to be using. I'm going to be clicking on it. Go to drag to front. Carry it to front. So sorry. Sorry, so I'm going to be working on this blow this thing here. So I'm going to go to crop, crop out the main part you're going to be using for this video. So once I'm done cropping it, I'm going to go to my sorry, I'm going to click on it, go to my color filter. Now I'm going also, I'm also going to change this to green. So we go to saturation, try to increase it so it will be dark green. So this is it. Just try to reduce it to the desired color you want. Once you are done. Just try to carry like this, increase it to any desired size you want it to be for your design. Any desired size at all you want your blur this thing to be for your design. Because also try to like rotate it to place it up. You get so once you're done doing this, you can also do the same thing to copy it anyhow you want to do it. You can copy it again, do the same thing to this place. You can you get so we are going to do it for the first side. So once you're done doing duplicating to other place, so I'm going to lock the layer now. I'm going to work in on this first circle right here. So I'm going to unlock this layer, go to this first circle. So you can put any date you want to put for a birthday. Okay, let me just copy this text so that I can put any date I want to put for a birthday. You can just simply go to here. I'm going to be putting 17th. So you can see, just try to zoom in so that you see what you're working on. Once you just do it, just put your color in white because your it will bring out what you are doing for the design. So once I don't put your color in white, I'm also going to duplicate it also. And this time I'm going, we are going to write sept or any date you want to write. But me, I'm going to be writing May June. Okay, I'm going to write in June. So I'll go to June right here. Just try to drag it inside. So once I don't drag it, you can see how awesome this is. I'm going to okay. So once I don't doing this, I'm going to lock this June so that we won't have any mistake once we are doing this. You also try to copy this in again. Now we're going to be putting TH on top at the top part of the flyer you get. So once you're done, just try to move it to the center and reduce the size, drag it to the down you get. So this is it. Okay, I'm going to be dropping it like this. So okay, this is it for now. So okay, once I'm done, we are going to measure all of them together. Okay, let me quickly measure all of them together so that you see what I'm working on. Once I'm done measuring all of them together, sorry guys. Okay, I need to merge these two together. Yeah, you can see I'm done merging them together. Once I need to do now, just to reduce it and place it inside so that it will show the exact um, and it will look fine. So I'm done with doing this. So I'm going to go to my plus icon, click on this draw, increase my pen size very well to the end, and then increase my smoothness. So this time I'm not going to be putting our blood radius, so I'm just going to be drawing it like this and smoothly. So this is it. So I'm going to place it down here. Go to your color. We change your color to green. So this is the green color I'm going to be using. Just change it to green. Once I don't change it to green, you can also try to increase it like this. Drag it down so that it will look realistic. So once you are done doing this, you can also choose to reduce it to any size you want it to be or any I want it to be. But me, I'm going to be dropping my wood like this. So you can just choose to drag it down or off the eye or anywhere you want it to be but i okay like i will have to leave it like this or okay let me just drop it like this though i'm off this 
this down eye so this is it for today if you love this video please subscribe to my youtube channel turn on the notification bell don't forget to share this video to your friends and they can also watch and learn from this video see you in our next video once again so this is all for today if you love this video subscribe to my youtube channel turn on the notification bell don't forget to like this video so that we'll be posting amazing content about graphic design see you next time